Prepare to witness a celestial spectacle as the grandest and most luminous moon of the year is poised to grace the skies. Sky enthusiasts are in for a treat with the Super Blue Moon event, occurring alongside Saturn on August 30th and 31st. This extraordinary occurrence merges two captivating lunar phenomena, the supermoon and the blue moon. However, what sets the 2023 Super Blue Moon apart is its alignment with Saturn, which will be positioned at its closest distance to Earth and will appear in close proximity to the moon, creating a magnificent bluish hue. As we explore this cosmic wonder, don't forget to show your support by hitting that subscribe button and liking this video. A trifecta of labels is being applied to the upcoming moon of August 30th and 31st, 2023. It's a full moon, a supermoon, and finally a blue moon. You may hear it referred to as a super blue moon as a result. It sounds exciting, but what does this really mean? To truly appreciate the concept of a super blue moon, we must dissect these two distinct terms before intertwining them. A supermoon refers to a full moon that appears larger and more radiant than the typical full moon. The moon travels around our planet in an elliptical orbit, or an elongated circle, with Earth closer to one side of the ellipse. Each month, the moon passes through the point closest to Earth called the perigee and the point farthest from Earth, the apogee. When the moon is at or near its closest point to Earth at the same time as it is full, it is called a supermoon. During this event, because the full moon is a little bit closer to us than usual, it appears especially large and bright in the sky. At its perigee, the moon is closest to Earth, resulting in a supermoon that can be approximately 14% larger and 30% brighter than a micromoon seen during the apogee, the furthest position. In contrast, the expression once in a blue moon signifies a rare occurrence, and this notion hails from the scarcity of blue moons. Remarkably, a blue moon does not actually change color. Instead, it historically referred to unusual lunar events. A blue moon is the term for when we see the full moon twice in a single month. The moon cycle is 29.5 days, so just a bit shorter than the average length of a calendar month. Eventually, that gap results in a full moon happening at the beginning of a month with enough days still remaining for another full cycle, so a second full moon in the same month. In other words, a full moon that happens on the first or second of a month will probably be followed by a second full moon on the 30th or 31st. This phenomenon occurs approximately every 2.7 years. People sometimes refer to two types of blue moons, monthly and seasonal. This upcoming moon is a monthly blue moon. Seasonal blue moons occur when there are four full moons in a single season, spring, summer, fall, and winter, instead of the usual three. Another lesser known interpretation of a blue moon is the third full moon within a season hosting four full moons. In a season bracketed by a solstice and an equinox, there are usually three full moons, one per month. Yet, on rare occasions, a season will encompass four full moons, designating the third as a blue moon. Merging these concepts, a super blue moon emerges when either the second full moon of a month or the third full moon within a four full moon season coincides with the moon's closest approach to Earth. This combination results in a moon that is not only larger and brighter, but also holds the distinction of being a blue moon. You probably won't notice a big difference in size with this upcoming blue moon. When the moon is closest to Earth, it looks about 14% bigger than when it's farthest from Earth. This is similar to the size difference between a quarter and a nickel. Because the moon will be close to us in its orbit, it will appear a bit brighter than usual. So do blue moons and supermoons always occur together? No, the term supermoon is used to describe a full moon that occurs within a day or so of a perigee, so they happen three to four times a year. About 25% of all full moons are supermoons, but only 3% of full moons are blue moons. The time between super blue moons is quite irregular. It can be as much as 20 years, but in general, 10 years is the average. 
The next super blue moons will occur in a pair, in January and March 2037. What adds an even more fascinating dimension is that the super blue moon coincides with Saturn's opposition. In astronomical parlance, opposition describes the celestial body's position when it is directly opposite the sun in the sky from Earth's perspective. This signifies that Earth lies directly between that celestial body and the sun. This term, commonly used when discussing outer planets like Saturn, highlights their visibility from Earth. When Saturn reaches opposition, it is at its closest distance to Earth for that particular year, making it an ideal time for observation. At opposition, Saturn rises in the east as the sun sets in the west. This ensures Saturn's visibility throughout the night. Given that Saturn is opposite the sun from Earth's perspective and relatively proximate to our planet, it reflects sunlight directly, rendering it brighter than during other times of the year. The alignment of Saturn's rings, if positioned favorably, can further augment its luminosity. Amateur astronomers and enthusiasts view Saturn's opposition as a prime opportunity to observe the planet through telescopes. The rarity of a super blue moon surpasses that of individual supermoons or blue moons. To the naked eye, the super blue moon appears most remarkable due to its amplified size and brilliance. It is important to remember that the moon's actual hue is not blue. Atmospheric conditions on Earth can influence the moon's color, such as after volcanic eruptions or extensive wildfires, which can cause the moon to take on a bluish or reddish tint due to atmospheric particles. However, this coloration is unrelated to the concept of a blue moon. The super blue moon of 2023 is anticipated to grace the sky on August 30th, with its full phase occurring at 9.35 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time or 1.35 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time on August 31st. Thus, the night transitioning from August 30th to 31st will be marked by the Moon's closest proximity to Earth. Per NASA's assessment, the Moon will be situated around 357,000 kilometers or approximately 222,000 miles away which is around 27,000 kilometers or roughly 17,000 miles closer to Earth than average. This classification as a blue moon results from it being the second full moon of August 2023. On the night of August 30th, when you gaze at the moon, a luminous speck near it will catch your eye. This is not a star, it's the planet Saturn. The conjunction of the Moon and Saturn in Aquarius occurs on August 30th, with the two celestial bodies positioned only a few degrees apart in the sky. In New York City, the Moon, in the constellation Aquarius, rises the evening of August 30th at 7.44 p.m. and sets the next morning at 6.47 a.m. Saturn will appear above and to the right of the Moon as it rises, the closest approach between the Moon and Saturn will occur at 2.07 p.m. Eastern, so it won't be visible from the Western Hemisphere. Observers in Central Europe, however, are well-placed to catch the moment when the Moon and Saturn are in conjunction, sharing the same celestial longitude, and when they make their close approach. In Warsaw, the Moon and Saturn rise at about 7.37 p.m. local time and the conjunction occurs at 8.07 p.m. At 9.43 p.m. local time the Moon will pass within just over 2 degrees of Saturn, with the Moon appearing just below the planet. As one moves eastward the conjunction occurs later in the evening and the Moon and Saturn are correspondingly higher in the sky. From Istanbul the Moon and Saturn rise at about 7.35 p.m. and the close approach happens at 10.43 p.m the Moon will appear more directly below Saturn than in New York. In New Delhi, the conjunction and close approach both occur after midnight. The close approach is at 1.13 a.m. local time on August 31st, about an hour after the Moon reaches its highest point in the sky. The Moon will be directly below and slightly to the left of Saturn, about 44 degrees high in the south. In the Southern Hemisphere, the conjunction will look different, Saturn will appear below the Moon, since the sky looks upside down from there. In Melbourne, Australia, 
For example, the close approach occurs at 5.43 a.m. local time on August 31st, and the pair will be low in the west, with Saturn appearing below the moon and to the right, both set by about 6.50 a.m. local time. During this phase, not only is Saturn more radiant, but its proximity also causes it to appear larger through telescopic lenses, offering a clearer view of its rings and possibly its moons. This presents an excellent chance for detailed observations and presents captivating photographic moments for astrophotographers. It is important to differentiate between Saturn and Jupiter, as both are prominently visible in the sky after midnight. Jupiter, rising a few hours after Saturn, shines as the brightest point of light in the night sky due to the absence of Venus. On the night of August 30th to 31st, Jupiter will be distinctly distant from the super blue moon. So, take pleasure in the celestial spectacle, and don't hesitate to share your thoughts on this upcoming super rare blue moon in the comments section. Thank you for tuning in, and until the next video, happy stargazing!